So the next scientist in our story is Lazzaro Spallanzani. He's an Italian scientist that read about both Needham and Reddy's work. And he thought that Reddy had, uh, had the right idea to begin with, that spontaneous generation could not occur, and that Needham was probably the one who botched up his procedure. So what Spallanzani did to support Reddy was he redid uh, Needham's procedure somewhat. He has two different trials going here. So you've got one trial on top and uh, the second trial on the bottom. In the first trial, you can see that he heated up the gravy to the point where it was boiling. That's what these little bubbles are supposed to be. So he heated it up to a steady boil. He left the top one open. As you can imagine, after a few days, it's teeming with all kinds of living things inside of it. The second one, though, he heats it up, he boils it, but then he caps it on top with a cork, and even after a few days, that one is totally free of living organisms. So Spallanzani's results, ultimately, are that Needham messed up his procedure. Even though Needham heated up the, uh, the gravy that he used, he didn't heat it up enough to boil it and really kill everything that was in there. Remember, you would need not just a boil, but a steady boil for a significant period of time. So Spallanzani, again, just read about Needham's results and was able to duplicate his experiments. That's part of why sharing scientific findings is important. He was able to read about what Needham had done and gone through uh, these steps relatively simply in order to duplicate his results on top and then the proper results down here um, on the bottom. So ultimately, Spallanzani's results support Reddy in the idea that spontaneous generation does not occur and it does not support Needham. Because Needham believed that uh, spontaneous generation could happen. So this shows the importance of sharing results in science. That's what gave him the information needed to not only learn about the, experience, the experiments that these other two individuals did, but to get to redo Needham's experiment in a way that supports Reddy's original findings. Thank you for watching.